Hello friends, this is Dr. Antoine, your coach in data analysis using R2. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can perform analysis of questionnaire, questionnaire which was designed using Likert SCAR. Likert SCAR questionnaire is used in research when researchers want to correct opinion, attitudes, or perception. Most of the time, it can be difficult to analyze Likert SCAR questionnaire. That's why I have to make a video to show you how you can perform some analysis of such questionnaire. And I will show you how you can calculate, for instance, absolute frequency. I will show you how you can calculate relative frequency. And I will show you how you can make a visualization using bar plot. Finally, I will show you how you can make a visualization using p -chart. Now, remember that Likert SCAR is a rating system which is used in questionnaires that is designed to measure people's attitudes, opinions, or perceptions. Before making this presentation, I created a data set which will be used. We suppose that we have created a questionnaire and we have analyzed answers, and then we have answers in Excel which we have to transform in CSV format. And suppose that the first the first question is related to agreement, the next question is related to importance, the next question is related to quality, and the next question is related to likelihood. How can you calculate frequency, relative frequency, and also frequency, and how can you make visualization of your result? This is what I'm going to show in this video. Let's go, friends. Now, this command you see here, what you were you before importing your data or analyzing your data, you have to know that you have to transform this in format the CSV. If you want to do you, you if you have such a kind of data, you come here, file, when it is in English, file here, and save us here, and in French is RDC so my file is record data and i have to choose csv format i'm going to show you the format you want you need to use when you want to work in r you see it in this format c c c this one csv csv form separated point brigade in french now we have to save but i have just to save that do not need to save it again now i'm going to import my data set this one this is the ring which allows to indicate where I saved my data set. Now let's learn these comments. The next thing to do is to import my data set in our working environment. This is the comment. This is the name I gave to my file. As you can see here, the, you see this is the name Rickert underscore English. This is the name I write here. Header is to import the name of variable. Sep is to indicate that the data are separated by uh, semicolon. Semicolon. This is to indicate that if there you have, for instance, numbers, this is to indicate whether the numbers are separated by comma. Now let me this comment to import my data set. Now I can use head to see the first elements. Let's run this comment. Head. You will see. The first elements, first elements by using head here. Yeah. Now you when you run head, you can see that my data set was correctly imported. Agreement, strongly agree, agree, disagree as it was in Excel file. This is the name of our variable. This is the, the name also for the next variable, but it can be a question. It can be whatever you want. This is the quality. It can be whatever you want as statements. Now, with what is next is to show you comments. When you want to perform such analysis, you need a library deep, deep layer. This one. Let's run this library. If you don't have this this library, you have to come here tools and star tools and start packages and you write the name of deep layer and you run and start now let's explain you let's run this comment first to in to call 
deploy in our still working environment now let's do i'm going to explain you step by step commands which will allow you to calculate sort of frequency and make relative frequency now as you see here friends this is a uh, where i, I save my data set record this one you see this one it is this one you see here this one record this is where i saved my data set this this one i'm going to analyze the first question related to agreements that's why i have to just to group by uh, by agreement but i can also write all those questions to have a, a summary for all those questions but i want to analyze first agreements related agreements now this is grouping variable agreement for the first question now i'm going to summarize to this comment here is to count the number for each agreement statement or for each statement now this is the, the name of the new column which will be created next i will calculate frequency remember frequency is nothing but is the total count relative uh, absolute frequency divided by the sum of all observations that's why you see here now this is absolute fre frequency calculated here now i'm going to divide by the total sum of absolute frequency and then i will arrange descend this descendingly that means i'm the first the highest value will come first let's run this comment now this print is just to uh, to show the results let's run this comment okay friends now you can see our results here let's clean here now you see the results with my absolute frequency and relative frequency as you can see here friends for instance strongly agree i have this number which represents this number percentage agree here has 46 which represent this number undecided is 45 strongly disagree 42 disagree 34 these are corresponding relative frequency now relative frequency as i said is nothing but it is this number divided by the total of these or this number or all questions or the total of all this one this frequency let's show you the example when i take this look look for instance sum of frequent absolute frequency this is the sum of absolute frequency look friends i like learn this comment you see i have 248 when i take for instance this number this one 81 divided by 248 this one you will see the frequent relative frequency we have is the same as this one you see this is 0 0.326 and it is this one okay now you see how you can just uh call, you will have to know that the summation of relative frequency is one when i run this comment sum of relative frequency you can see it is one you see and now what is next is to make a visualization you can use absolute frequency or you can use relative frequency let's first learn absolute frequency visualization this is absolute frequency this is domain or title this is uh, absolute frequency is is labor of of x lab y lab there's nothing if you want to add something you can do this is to just to to visualize to visualize the labels labels now let's learn this comment you will see how visualization will look like let's increase the size here
this is the visualization of my answers now as you can see this is horizontal horizontal but i will uh, do another visualization which is in a vertical now this is the result this is disagree agree and so on strongly agree you see agree here and so on okay now i can just make vertical visualization vertical visualization now i just just need to change here horizontal equal force but the other comment are the same but you need to change also here wiring because now here i will save frequencies let on this comment now you can see how it looks it looks it looks like now you can strongly agree agree and decide it disagree strongly disagree here when i increase the size here you will see all rubbers now you can see here strongly agree agree and decide it strongly disagree and disagree here now you can use also p chart when you want to visualize for instance absolute frequencies or you can use a relative frequency let's change here and use relative frequency instead of absolute frequency now i just choose frequency relative frequency let's run this comment and you will see how it will look like now this is the visualization when i use the relative frequency okay friends this is how you can analyze leakers scar personal using our tool and you can also make in this is also how you can make visualization if you found this video helpful you can subscribe to my channel and also you can share with others to let others learn let me show you the comment if you want to to use this comment you see all comment you see here which allows you to make uh, this uh, which allows you to uh, you see the comment which allows you to calculate the relative frequency and also the frequency and thank you for watching this video for next video bye